folks, Brian here. So another day, another video, working on the 1973 Crown Supercoach RV conversion project. Uh, this is day six of Rescue a Crown. It's day six, yep. So anyway, um, I'm waiting on the water pump to come in. I had to order it. It's not nearly as common as I wish it was, but there were still plenty available. It's only $125, but I need it tomorrow, so I had to pay $46 to have it next day aired. Ouch. I probably could have had Napa get it to me for $98, but we didn't really discuss shipping and you know, it just is what it is. Anyway, $176 later, I will have that water pump tomorrow and it should install and go back together. So today I'm going to replace this uh, canister filter and I'm also going to change out these, these valves and possibly this hose because these hoses are kind of, they've seen better, better lives. Um, I don't know, I might leave well enough alone, but I am definitely gonna change out that canister. Uh, so let me get my gloves on, I'll be right back. Oh, I've got a filter wrench from Harbor Freight. It was like five bucks or something. Oh, man, this filter is tough. There we go. So I found out this filter was dripping. Ew, yuck. Ew, that's nasty. So this filter rotted out. I'm gonna go put this in the trash, I'll be back. The water filter is actually a brilliant idea. Um, I've never seen it before on a big diesel. It's something Detroit doesn't do, but really should do because these big diesel engines are really sensitive to water chemistry. Uh, there's something called cavitation that can and will screw up your um, engine if the, the water is not right. And what this does is it balances the, the alkalinity of the water and it adds the anti-cavitation agent which protects the engine against uh, destructive cavitation. So I'm really thinking about replacing these valves. I don't like these valves. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and replace these valves and this, cause I, I just don't want this set up like this. And I need to look in there and see how hard this is gonna be to get to. Oh, that's not gonna be hard at all. So yeah, I'm gonna replace these hoses and these valves today. Um, these have a tendency to snap off. Um, and like this one looks like it's closed. It, these just these things are just bad news. So anyway, I'm gonna go get my drill and get these clamps off because these clamps have had it. And and I think this hose length could be like I think this could be changed. Um, I don't know if that's the reason that's real long, but you know that could come down. There's just there's, there's a dozen ways to improve this, and so I'm gonna start on that today. I'm gonna go to Lowe's and get my fittings, and then go to Napa to get my, um, my clamps and my hoses. So let me go get some stuff to get that off there. I should have done this before I put it on, but it's okay. So what I've done is I've written the mileage and the date that this filter was installed. It's something I like to do whenever it's feasible because it helps me to know in six months, how old is this filter? Am I doing the maintenance right? And it's just an easy trick that I've learned to do on my engines. I uh, like to use a drill driver when I'm dealing with hose clamps makes my life much much simpler oh i need an extension for that mounted on here and that allows me to easily and comfortably reach up in here and remove this all right so that's good now when you have a hose that's been on here for a long time it's always best to use a pair of pliers to break it loose And I need a knife for that. Uh-oh. And that is why that is clipped on there. All right, so we'll need to figure out what that is because we've lost the 
contact on it. I wondered why that was taped up there. So that very easily and quickly gets that removed. Uh, this is going to have to be undone. This has to come out anyway. <clears throat> it's going to take socket. Rescue again. The socket set I bought the other day includes a 15 16 inch socket, and I've got a breaker bar. All right. Let's get this thing seated. sensor is bad but all right be right back so I've issued a call for assistance online to see what that is oh really take the rest of the thermostat housing apart to get this it just happens I have an egg I bought a pipe wrench one of my favorite tools so once that's loose then I can go back with a pair of pliers and turn You can see here there's a whole bunch of cracks and well it looks like it's just junk but soaking in oil and crap is not good for rubber hoses don't get me wrong they're designed for it but these are soft ready to be replaced I'm looking at this deciding 
how this is going to go back together. Take this air valve off. Oh hell. Wasn't expecting that. Now I really don't like that valve. Require that either this fitting comes out or I get a tap and I'm going to take the fitting out. So ah, that sucks. Okay, so I'm going to try and remove this and see if I can save this fitting. Because it turned out that the brass ones were really very expensive. And some of this stuff just isn't, I'm not changing the plumbing layout. I just don't like these, these stopcock valves. that is the whole valve. Yeah, alright. I didn't change on that. Expensive at Lowe's. Hopefully I can take some of them back. I always use Teflon paste. This is the non-setting variety. paste on my camera. That always makes me happy. Because these little brass pieces are like four bucks, five bucks a piece, I'm going to take this one off. I wouldn't do this if it wasn't so expensive. I would just throw away it this one. But because they are as expensive as they are, I'm going to reuse every last bit of it. And just as well, that one was loose. Let's cast it here. I don't think this is what I need, but I'm going to try. Because again, these are stupid expensive. So I'm going to see if this is just a So this is a quarter inch valve that's designed for air. Hopefully it'll work. 
It's another little Harbor Freight $4 special. It doesn't look to be any worse than the stuff that Lowe's sells. And again, there's where $10, this is four. And part of the reason I wanted this one is it has a smaller, um, it has a smaller arm on it. So that'll allow me to do that and let the air out of the system should I choose to do so. Good enough. Go ahead and slide this back in. And then this side is a little undersized, so I'm gonna put two on. And that just gives me peace of mind that it didn't go nowhere. actually what that was about. 